Welcome back to another Nature's Good Guys release video. Today we're in the garden releasing everybody's favorite ladybugs. When you receive your purchase of ladybugs from Nature's Good Guys, this is what it's gonna look like. So the ladybugs will be in a mesh bag or a cloth bag, depending on the size that you get. And then make sure you read the literature that comes with your package because not only is there information about other insects in there that you may not know you needed to fight your pests, but there's a lot of good info on ladybugs from how to release, storage, all that stuff. So make sure you always read the instructions closely when you order insects. I mentioned that there is storage instructions on the handout that you get with your insects. So it's different depending on which species you get, but ladybugs can go in the fridge. So these guys are a little bit slow moving right now and that's because they just came out of the refrigerator. They can actually be stored in the fridge up to two weeks. So don't freeze them, but if you're not quite ready to release them yet, you can put them in your refrigerator, just keep them in the original packaging. The ideal time to release your ladybugs is going to be either early morning, like I'm doing here, or evening. Um, and this is another reason why I do like putting them in the refrigerator because it makes it a little bit easier to cut open the bag and distribute them where I want them to go when they're more slow moving. So if they were really hot, um, say they just got out of a warm truck and were delivered to you, then they are going to be more active and flying around. So it's just a bit easier to cut open the bag, as you see here, if they're not trying to fly out all over the place. I also made sure to water my garden already, so if you're not doing a full-on watering, you can at least mist the foliage where you're releasing your ladybugs, just to give them a bit of moisture. And you do want to release them into some dense foliage, and anywhere that's going to provide good shade and overall good habitat for them. If you have a heavily infested area or an area where you're seeing a lot of pest damage, you can sprinkle them directly onto the plant in that spot. And then you can also just leave them at the base of the plant. I also like to leave the mesh bag at the base of the plant for a few hours or maybe until the next day just to make sure they all have a chance to crawl out. And remember that these guys are gonna target your soft bodied insects. So anything like aphids, mealybugs, spider mites, thrips, that sort of pest, ladybugs are gonna be a great option to help control them. So we like to call them a general predator because they eat such a wide variety of things. And you can see now they're starting to get a bit more active. So it really doesn't take very long for them to start warming up and getting active. And this is obviously a safe alternative to something like a chemical pesticide. Now you could just leave them in one location or you could do what I'm doing here, pick up the straw ball if there's a lot on there and move them around to distribute them across your garden. A couple of common questions we get is can ladybugs be used with other beneficial insects? And yes, generally speaking, they can all coexist together. The predators don't really attack each other, so you don't have to worry about them eating each other. And another common question is when can I be releasing ladybugs? And a good rule of thumb for this is if you're seeing signs of pest damage, that means the pests are active. So it's a good time to release your ladybugs if you are seeing active pest damage, but we also always like to stress prevention because it's always easier to prevent an infestation. So remember to start releasing your beneficial insects early in the season and continue to do it throughout the growing season as well. Check out naturesgoodguys.com for more information on ladybugs, as well as all of the other beneficial insects that you could be using to help fight pests in your garden. Send this video to someone who likes to garden and tell us in the comments below what you like about using ladybugs and other beneficial insects.